My friends, the protests in Iran started two months ago and they're going on every night. These protests show that how people of Iran are ready for a change. They're desperate, they are hopeless, they have lost hope in the government and they're looking for something else. And that's why the gospel is bringing so much fruit in Iran. During the protests, we had nightly broadcast encouraging people to be a light in the darkness. We encouraged them to pray, but also to participate in the demonstrations, not shouting death to anybody, but bringing hope and life from the word of God to them. Here are two short testimonies. Mori, 42 years old. He said, I was inspired to go out after watching your programs. And I would go out and at night I would give people rides. And in my car, I had food, I had refreshment, and I would take him home. At the end of a day of demonstrations, they were tired. So I helped them. And in my car, I shared my testimony, and then I told them about your channel. Encourage them to go and watch your channel. Many of them committed. They said, we will watch this channel. Another young man, Hamed, 27 years old, he said, I was watching a program, and you told me to go out and not uh, shout death to anybody, but be an be a agent of life. So I went out all day uh, among the demonstrators, and I told them, there is no hope in man. Man cannot do anything for you. The only hope for our salvation of Iran is Jesus Christ. Then he says, at night I would give right to some of the, the demonstrators. One night I gave a right to a young university student who said he was afraid to go back to his dorm because, uh, because they may know that he was one of the demonstrators and he might be arrested. I invited him to stay with me that night. He gladly accepted. When we got home, I gave him a dinner, and then together we sat down to watch your programs. He was deeply touched and had many questions. We discussed Jesus until very late. The next morning, when he woke up, he said that he was ready to follow Jesus. I prayed with him to receive Jesus. I am so happy that God used me to save one life. My dear friends, Iran is ready. There are two million believers in Iran who are prisoners in their homes. Our goal for 2018 is to equip and mobilize these two million believers. And just like these two young people, they respond. You just give them equipment. You just give them encouragement. You tell them how to do it and they will do it. May I ask you, would you join us this year to transform Iran? They are ready. Appreciate your support. Appreciate your prayer. May I ask you, would you go on our website and just sign up for a monthly support, large or small, as God enables you, we can join together. And I believe Iran will be transformed and will transform the whole Middle East. I appreciate you and we will be in touch.